to my channel. It's your girl Daima, recording from beautiful, semi-sunny, semi-cloudy Puerto Rico. Hold on, let me make sure that this is recording. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Y'all, I recorded a video yesterday and I thought I was recording and turns out I wasn't recording. And to be honest, like Mercury retrograde yesterday kicked my peach, kicked my booty. So I am praying and crossing my fingers. Hopefully this will record well for you guys. I've been wanting to get this content out for you for a while. Take a sip of water. And um, it just didn't happen yesterday. So hey, I'm taking out the sign that maybe I wasn't supposed to put that video out there. Um, I wasn't really feeling the video so, so much. So I get, hey, sometimes it works out. The universe just does it for us, right? So today we're gonna be doing are oh first things first hold on rewind let's do things in order i want to give first a shout out to all my new subscribers welcome subbies how you doing welcome to the family um i really appreciate you joining me with this journey this financial my personal financial journey i hope you guys enjoy watching and um get some non-professional because i'm not a professional or nothing but at least get some kind of amateur inspiration from it or just you know enjoy having something to watch on your lunch break right <laughs> when you're washing dishes i don't know about y'all but when i wash dishes which i hate to do i don't know does anybody really like washing dishes comment down below if you're cool with washing dishes here we do not like having dishwashers are not prevalent on the island of puerto rico which by the way because you didn't know even though i mentioned it just a little while ago i'm based out of puerto rico i'm a puerto rican budgeter so you might hear some sounds in the background. You might hear some roosters crowing. We have a resident star rooster named Jorge, which is our, our little crow buddy for whenever we do our videos. So he usually stops by and gives a little crow to say hello to you guys. So feel free to say hello back if you want to down below. Um, but we have it all. In urban settings, we have it all. You could just be driving down a regular street and out of nowhere, you're gonna see a flock of chickens crossing the road to get to the other side. We got horses, we got cows, we got we got everything. It's like living on a big tropical farm and urban settings, right? So yeah, um, going back to my original thought, uh, welcome and I hope that you enjoy what you're seeing. And if you do, please comment, like, and subscribe so that I know that this is the content that you, content that you enjoy getting. And so, yeah, today's been a pretty good day. We just woke up. It's early morning here. Not so early morning, like about 9 or 10. And it's pretty calm and cool. This week was Eclipse. I hope you guys had a happy Eclipse. My Eclipse is pretty cool. I just chilled at home, you know, took some time to to do things that made me feel calm and good during it so that's great and what else In my previous video i showed you some cool things that i've been working on i think we're going to be using one of them today if i'm not mistaken which is my little stitch man i did a um 31 weeks of stitching challenge really cute and yeah so i'm really just trying to get to the 100 subscribers because i've been making a lot of things and i really want to be able to give you guys some freebies and eventually set up a shop of course to share you know share the wells and support everybody back because there's so many lovely budgeters here on the youtube that give back one of them that does, that does really great freebies and has some of the best freebies out there is Glow Budget. Shout out to her. Hola, amiga. She has a lot of great freebies on her channel. Um, and her videos are just amazing. So you should see her and subscribe. Donna Power by Creativity has a lot of cool ones too. Saving with Judy. Save with Judy. We're going to use one of hers. I'm not sure if it's still up. But she put it up in the the end to the beginning of this year. The end of last year to the beginning of this year. Which we're going to be using today. Which is going to be this one. It's a really great one. Very simple, fun, and easy to do. So a lot of these lovely ladies and people have a lot of great freebies. So I'm really excited to get into that. And... We're gonna do, of course, our fail safe daily binder. And I made a little, uh, cool little 
group of trackers for this also that I'm going to show you guys. I've just been like really creative, man, lately. I've been so inspired by a lot of the, um, the lovely ladies and people here on the uh, that are part of the budgeting community. And I've just been creating up a storm. So let's count our monies before we forget. Because, you know, knowing me, Dory Brain in process, I might forget and just start a stuffing. So we are working with today our usual 20. Hmm, where am I going to put this? Let me put this over here. Reorganize. There we go. 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. This is going to be going into our longer term savings. And the money for this one, I have it separate, of course, which is the usual $28. So we're going to add to that $20. <clears throat> Just 5, 10, 15, 20. Put this over here. Hope y'all can see. I got my two little supervisors here. We got Peaches and Crush. Um, what did I say? That was 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely. Alrighty. Hope y'all can see that. If not, you'll see it pretty soon in a minute. I'll be able to get it. Let me put him. He gets a high view and she gets a high view too. Let's put little peaches up here. There you go. Now you guys can see this better. Alrighty. So yeah, we are ready to go. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do these challenges for a while now. I just haven't been able to, y'all. I wasn't able to do my nails. And I was like, I'm not coming on here with my nails looking all messed up. <laughs> For those of us that has nails, you know how you know how it is. So like our nails done. Like I was like, I can't. I cannot. All right. So we're doing our Monday challenge. Let me move this over a little bit. Now that I think about it, because I'm gonna use this. Excuse the reach. I'll use a snippet because this I'm gonna need out. Let me put that over here. Okay. So, I did a little thing, guys, and I made, along with my 31 Weeks of Stitch Wing dashboard, I also made a 52 Puppies Challenge, which you guys will see. Wreck It Ralph, that was in my previous videos, my previous video that you guys are going to see. And here I made, with um, Inside Out, the Days of the Week Challenge dashboard. This is also a digital version of this. That you can make your own little like um dashboard envelopes or so with it instead of having to purchase this i got this off of amazon with all the days of the week so i made one and i'm going to use them as my trackers so here i have my no spend days and here are the different days and how this works is i found this idea online off of pinterest it didn't include any envelopes it just said to save a dollar the dollar amount for each corresponding each corresponding day according to the number of the week that day is. So for example, Monday is day number one of the week. If you start your weeks from Monday through Sunday, so you'll say $1. Tuesday is two, no, day number two, so you'll say $2. Wednesday, three. Thursday, four, so on and so forth, all the way until you get to Sunday, which would be $7. I wish my printer could do this justice, guys. Like the colors that I chose are a lot more vibrant and correspond a little bit more to what's in here. But however, as I've said before, I'm still trying to save up to buy because um, I use toner cart cartridges. We have like one of those pretty large, big four all-in-one computers and they cost like about $200 just to get the color one. So I'm trying to save up for that. So yeah, so we have this. I filled up what we have done so far. I have it filled up. So I just need to do for this week, which is the fifth week. I accidentally put this one in, but this one was already done. So we're gonna fill in the rest of the, um, the fifth one, right? And this no spend day is pretty cool because what I decided to do for no spend because I was forgetting to like put it into my, um... okay, it's still recording. I'm so freaking out guys. I'm telling you I recorded that whole video and it did not record and I'm just like freaking. That the same thing will happen. Okay, so let's do this fast just in case. So it was hard for me to, to remember how to do my nose to do my no spend days. I wasn't feeling as motivated. 
So I decided to do them um, daily in terms of seeing which days I tend to spend more or less and do it that way um, instead of having like this big calendar tracker or so. So every so often, I'm just gonna fill this in depending on how many times I didn't spend on a Monday, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, etc. And that way I could also see what days I tend to spend more and maybe I could try to do some modifications to limit that. We don't wanna eliminate completely our no spend days, but the idea is to at least, um, you know, cut back on them a little bit. So my goal is to get to maybe about four days a week without no spending. Um, five days would be awesome. If not, you know, it's cool. Even if it's two days, just my days off, I'm happy. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go back to the beginning. First, we're going to stuff our binder. We're gonna start with Monday. And this little pin, I just put it here on Wednesday so that I can remember to check to see if I spend or not on Wednesday. And then put it in this corresponding envelope I have in the back here. All right, so Monday is day number one, so we're gonna put one dollar in it. And Monday so far has, because we've been doing this for five weeks, so there should be five dollars here. One, two, three, four, five. Monday has five dollars. I'm gonna take that out, and I'm gonna throw in a five, so I could keep the change. Five dollars, and then Tuesday has five, six, seven, eight, plus two more dollars will give us 10. We're also going to, let me see, I'm gonna put this back and I'm going to take two tens, two fives. Let's do that. And Wednesday is gonna get, it's a lot of $3, because this is day number three. We have 12 plus three more will give us 15. I'm gonna put the three in this one so I don't run out of fives. We should have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yeah, this is a real simple way. In the end, you will have saved, as it says here, 1456, 1456. And I'm just planning on doing this for you know, the rest of the year, slow and steady. And this will be what exactly around what I need for my month ahead. All right, so we're on Thursday. So this is $4. I'm gonna take one back and put in the five gonna give me this and then I'm gonna change this out for should I do that do I want to mm, no because I'm putting that in my Roger Rabbit what should I do here I think I'm gonna do five ones something needs to have change in here one two three four five all right so we have 20 five weeks so that's five that's four per week four times five is 20 so we're good to go one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty. All right. So yes, yeah, so I figured this is like my fill safe is twenty eight dollars each week at a minimum, without excluding like the no spend days. If you decide to put a dollar in or whatever amount you decide to put in, and I figured that it will help me no matter what. I I feel like I'll be blessed enough to at least save twenty eight dollars a week, even if I can't do any other challenge. I could at least stuff this right. So we have 20 so far and five more. We are going to then have 25. So I'm gonna put that back. We should have 25, right? 10, 15, 20, 25. Alrighty. So I really like this, because it's like sweet and simple. You could do it daily. You could do it in bulk like I'm doing, however you feel. See guys, isn't that so cool? Friday is like the day that I've, the day of the week that I've spent the least in the last month or so. I already have $5 in there because I put $1 for each day. So, Saturday is going to be $6. So, I'm just going to grab 6 right here and let's see how much we have so far. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That makes sense. Makes sense to me. All right, yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like that so I can have change for the next week. So this adds up relatively quickly, guys. Believe it or not. You could do it more too. You could double this amount if you want to, put $2 in the front and in in Monday and go from there increments of two and save almost $3,000 like this if you wanted to. All right, so the last day, Sunday is gonna get seven. 
Let me take out the seven and then I'll see what I have here and then I'll locate the change accordingly. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't do that right. Okay, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna keep that there, this here. I'm just gonna take this 20. Why not? Why not, y'all? I'm gonna take that 20. Now I have a little bit more fives. Okay, good to go. We have 35, right? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so we are done with this. Let's mark it off in our lovely tracker made by moi. Put that to the side like everything. Just throw it to the side till we're ready to. Put it away. So, what was I using? I was using this one, right? Okay. So let's get our lovely tracker. We already got Monday down. Let's do Tuesday. All right, Tuesday's down. Let's get into Wednesday, fifth week. So I thought it was so cute, this idea to do in and out because I don't know about y'all, but these are the emotions that I feel during the week. <laughs> like it's when it's your Monday, you're just angry. You're just pissed off that you got to go back to work, right? So I was like, I got to put anger in the front because he gets mad. <laughs> and then Tuesday, you're like, ah, I can't believe it. It's only Tuesday. You're, you're, you're fearful. <laughs> he said basically the whole week. Wednesday, you're basically being dragged or something. Thursday, you're like, ugh, it's almost Friday, but it's not Friday. So, like, what, what the heck are we going to do with Thursdays? It's not even a Friday, right? And then by the time you get to Fridays, you're joyful. Like, a little bit of joy here, of course. Woohoo! Everybody loves their Friday, right? Shout out to all of you that don't have any days off. Y'all are the true champions. I don't know how y'all could do it because I got, like, way too much Taurus in my chart. I need my rest. And I know a lot of people that, unfortunately, they need to, for the circumstances, either they enjoy it or they just need to work every single day. And kudos to you. So Friday. Especially of your parents. If your parents, you ain't got never, no day off. You're on call 24-7. Saturday. See, Saturday, you're happy like bing bong. Who's a friend that loves to play? Bing bong, bing bong. Oh, this is running out of ink on me already. These old cute little bing bong. So you happy on Saturday and Sunday's like family day. So you're cold and chill. So yeah. I got to toot my own horn with this one. I think this one came out like super cute. I love this one. And this one, I am definitely thinking about giving a version of this out as a freebie for you guys. If you want to do this challenge, just got to get up to, um, to at least 100 subscribers to get some stuff out to you guys. All right, so I'm going to keep this close by. I'm not going to put it too far because we're going to use it in a bit. So now we're going on to our other long-term savings challenges. I do not know where to put Miss Peaches. I'm sorry, Miss Peaches. Let's put you over here. There we go. Okay. So this one is our Save with Judy. And it's $5 a week for the whole month. Y'all can see that. So we're gonna put our five dollars in here and color us. You go counter counterclockwise. I started this late. I started this in March last month. So so far with that five dollars we put in, we have five, um, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So I'm gonna have to little by little when I get the extra funds, fill in the rest of these for the first two months. So it's pretty cool. You go counterclockwise and just color color this in. It comes in color, but once again, I had to um do it 
printed out in what you call it in oh man I can't even talk I had to print it out in what am I trying to say y'all I had to print it out in black and white because of my printer all right so let's do our little eggies we are going to color in this is lefty problems y'all trying to find an angle when you're lefty Shout out down below if you're a lefty. We are a special, lovely breed. However, this world is not designed for us. It forgets us sometimes. So we're gonna color us in a little eggy. Make it super cute. Mm, let's do the blue. about purple for the middle. Let me see how this purple looks. Oh, look at my cute little Easter egg. I'm so happy. Alrighty, so we're done with the first little Easter eggy. Done with that one, on to the next. Woohoo! One of my favorites. Roger Rabbit, I love it. This is by Donna Powered by Creativity. It's our famous Roger Rabbit challenge. Super fun. Oh, wait a minute. I skipped one, guys. Hold on. Hold on. We are not ready for that yet. Hold on. I'm always trying to knock this over, y'all. I'm going to put this up here. There we go. I'm just like, got to compensate for my somewhat clumsiness today. All right. So we got the 777 challenge. I love this one. I got this from budgeting to freedom fl if i'm not mistaken on etsy so this is really great you save seven dollars 77 times and at the end you will have i think it's over 500 dollars. so a lot of these little challenges that i got i am how did this get all messed up guys <gasps> no Ugh. so frustrating i don't even know how the heck that got all messed up anyways let me not get distracted let me not get upset over here. <laughs> so a lot of these are going to be used to fund my 2024 challenge from the Almost Organized Owl. This is how I decided to do this. I got this idea from, I think it's Sita's journey or Sita's budgeting journey, how she uses like smaller challenges like this to help fund this. So when I'm done with the Roger Rabbit, that's $500. That's like going to help fill out this whole, I think, um, chunk here, this whole quarter here. And when I'm done with this one, it would also help fill out another one. So this is how I'm kind of like doing it to break it up so that it's not as intimidating. I love that challenge, by the way. It's from the Almost Organized Owl. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it's from her. And it's very popular. Everybody is really enjoying it. So she did an awesome job with that. So let's put in our $7. So yeah, since I am a low-income budgeter, I really have to find ways to get that... Um, satisfaction or instant gratification of finishing things sometimes you know a little bit quicker some of the things quicker because if not if everything is like super long term i know myself i'm just gonna get like demotivated of not seeing quote unquote progress right and i want to ring the bell like miss donna did with the ding 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 wait a minute oh i almost mixed up my money so i should have 35 okay let's check this i almost mixed it up Let's see how much we have. We have five of them colored in. So we've got 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, good to go. All right, and then whatever is left is our, is for our Roger Rabbit, right? Yes, our Roger Rabbit. Okay. I am so bummed. So this challenge came with this really pretty envelope and you're able to choose the color vinyl that you want. I messed up your envelope. I don't know what the heck this. Oh, let me not just focus on it too much. I'm gonna drive myself crazy. So, for our little Roger guy, we are going to do twenty dollars, like always. I'm putting twenty dollars a week in here. I love this one. I think it's like so satisfying. Um, coloring in this brick wall. She was really smart and she's a genius when coming up with this. I came up with a version similar to this, which is my Wreck-It Ralph that I'm going to be doing after this. 
I love Rick and Ralph. So I'm gonna be doing this one after. That also has like the, the little brick wall. Once again, my printer doesn't do the colors justice. I'll see if I can insert some pics about um, in the video of what it looks like for you guys. So, but yeah. So let's color in our $20. We have 10, 15, did I already count this? I think I did. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh, good thing I counted it again. Right, because we thought it was supposed to go on my penny challenge. Or I'm going to do stitch. I think I'm going to do stitchy. All right, so, yeah. Um, ugh, Dory Brain, guys, I'm sorry. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, it's 20, all right. All righty, so let's color in. Eight and six is 14, plus six is 20. So let's do these. And once again, we gotta make room for our lefty selves. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna color in 21. I'm gonna take another dollar because I wanna color in this one right here. So we're gonna do that. So she has multiple versions of this um, Roger Rabbit challenge. And she also has an envelope version that you print out and you could turn it into a envelope. And she has a 500 one, which is this one. I think this is her original one. Then she has a 1500 one. And she also has a roll and save, which looks super fun. I made a nice little fun roll and save version for my record Ralph also that I might try. I'm not exactly sure. I really love having those different options. So all of the challenges that I've been making for myself and for you guys have um, three different options to suit your budget. It's either a low income um, budget version like this one, let's say the stitch, you know, it's just one through seven dollars that you're going to be saving um, 31 weeks for each, you know, for each week, or um, it's a roll and save, save version, or it's the original version of the challenge of, let's say, like, if it's a 100 envelope challenge, and that's what we're gonna, you know, do the traditional 100 envelope way, that you save 5,050. You know, I like to have the option, because I know not everybody, not every single time are you able to do that, you know, with your budget. So, yes, I'm still recording. I'm like freaking out. <laughs> Let's see how much I got here because I have a $100 bill that I want to put in here. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So I'm going to put that here. 101, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow! Yay! Oh, that's so dope, guys. I'm so happy. 105. Woo -woo. All right, so here I have a hundred to so make sure. Yes, there's a hundred here, and I am going to swap this out for. Let me see. I'm going to get. I'm going to take this other dollars here. Those are five dollars. I'm going to put this in here, and I also have a hundred dollar bill. And then I think that is it. Oh no, we got the little stitch man. We got our little stitchy. Our stitchy, can't forget him. Woohoo, 105 already. Guys, we're fifth of, way, a fifth of the way there. Isn't that so, oh my God, I'm so excited. Woo. It all adds up. All right, so we're gonna use this for another challenge. I need a change. Doop. There we go. All right, um, Stitchoween. Let's get to our Stitchoween. All righty, so the video that I have recorded yesterday that you guys are not gonna be able to see because apparently it wasn't meant to be seen. Um, I did the, I did two days, two weeks of the of the Stitchoween. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do a number two. And I'm gonna do this little Jack Skellington one. So I created this 
myself. I love the idea of little Stitch Man. He's so cute, and I think it's so proper because he would definitely do this. And we're gonna use our Jack Skeleton pen for this because it's appropriate. And so this one's pretty cool. You could use it like for the whole month of October if you wanted to do it, if it fits your budget. Any version of this. So I said I have a 31 envelopes version and a 31 roll and save, and then this low income and then a medium income that is just um, two increments, two through 14. And this is lined up with the exact month of October. So October would start on a Tuesday, this is Sunday through Saturday in it, and um, Halloween's on a Thursday. All right, so we got two more dollars into our stitchy. This electric one is my favorite. <laughs> Here we go, 31 days of stitchy weed. So, so far we have, by saving just those three little weeks here or days, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dollars, make them holla. I'm not exactly sure how much this saves. I wanted to be surprised. I don't know how much the record Ralph for it saves. Um, I also want that to be a surprise for you guys, so. We gonna find out together. Alrighty, so I am done with everything that I plan to do for this saving sesh today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I am going to pull a little card for us. A nice little self-care card. I love doing this after every little saving that we do. So if you would like to stick around for this portion, feel free to. These are just regular affirmation cards. Um, wisdom cards, self-care. I got these off of Amazon. They're really cool. I like them. So I like to think on, you know, something positive or something that I'm looking forward to um, while shuffling. Feel free to do the same if you'd like to. What I'm going to think about today is how grateful I feel to be a part of this community that has stumbled on this lovely sector and um, corner of the internet with, with everyone from you know that does the budgeting and everything like that um i feel very blessed to be a part of this in any shape form or capacity and you guys have all welcomed me with like really open arms there's everybody here is like super sweet and motivating and supportive and i want to give also a shout out to um boop and budgets please check her out she has a great um, channel. She's my little watch hour buddy. Hey, Irene. Um, and she's doing a great version of the 100 envelope challenge. And she's doing it with $5 increments. So she is a rock star. So like for each envelope, multiples of five. I mean, in the end, she's going to have like over 20 grand. So that is so dope. I love seeing that. And she does really cool ASMR short videos too. Um, shorts like the youtube short so check her out so hello hola amiga really great and of course um glow budgets check them out they're really they're really lovely lovely ladies all right so let's get a nice little card to help set the tone for this morning or anytime that you're watching it afternoon or evening if you guys are having a wonderful week and let's go with this one i like this blue one let's see hopefully it's not one that's come out already priorities i think we did this did we do this one already i'm not sure but hey i'm feeling it why not this month's priorities oh and it got a dalmatian i was just working on dalmatian dogs super cool i don't think we've done this one so this is great the quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time mm, boom let that sink in make sure your schedule reflects the life you want beautiful yep it's like they say the real currency of the world is time. Our, our time is precious, it's very valuable. And I don't like to say that um, life is short or there's no time and that kind of stuff. I don't believe that. I believe that everything in the universe is abundant, And but I do believe that it is precious. Our time and our life and our energy is precious and we need to allocate it to things that inspire and create joy and love and prosperity for us, right? And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, there goes Jorge in the background. He's saying hi. He had to get in a little high for you guys before we cut off. So 
if you reach this part of the video and you want to say hi back to him comment down below with a purple heart emoji and a rooster emoji either or there he goes again <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me guys take care love you toodles bye